No one likes a rip off game. Generally, when multiple copycats of a brilliant idea for a game start popping up, quality is the first thing to go. It's mostly from developers who want to make a quick buck and take advantage of what's selling. And that was exactly the case with the augmented reality hit Pokemon Go. With the anticipation of Harry Potter Wizards Unite buzzing on the interwebs right now, it should be no surprise when more of these copycat games start spawning. So, to catch you up on the current state of blatant rip offs, the good, the bad, and the hilariously ugly, we're coming at you today with our list of the top 10 shameless Pokemon Go rip offs. Number 10, Ghostbusters World. You gotta admit, transitioning the idea of catching Pokemon in AR to catching ghosts in AR does make sense. Can't see the ghosts in real life, but you can see them on your phone. It's a pretty good sell. This game also uses Google's AR Core technology, which means this game is definitely no lightweight in the development department. And it also makes it a solid competition for Pokemon Go, considering that they use Apple's AR Kit framework. Catching ghosts seems fun. And at number 9, Geopets. Geopets theoretically works like Pokemon Go, but manages to have its own unique aesthetic flair that makes it stand Stand out from the other imitations. Made by a solo developer and not a studio, the game uses AR to find creatures created by an artist aptly named Smiley Fakemon. The game actually received some positive fan reviews, with many saying that they were disappointed that there were no updates made to improve the mechanics and fix bugs. I guess that's what happens when you jump on a trend and it dies. And at number 8, Garfield Go. Really? Is Garfield still relevant? Apparently so. And Garfield Go is there to fill in that empty void for those who have been craving more lasagna loving kitties. With this app, you can play games and find treasure around your neighborhood with Garfield, making it more of a Garfield companion type game opposed to hunting down and catching creatures like the majority of other games on this list. That being said, before you completely write this app off, it does give you real life rewards like Amazon gift cards. So, all in all, it's actually not too shabby. And at number 7, Cats Go. Testing the theory that if you put a cat on anything, people will like it, here is Cats Go, the app that lets you hunt and capture cats in a less nefarious way than I probably just made that sound. Anywho, the game hasn't received terrible reviews and generally seems to have gained a fan base of people. People who have more of an interest in cats than they do Pokemon. And at number six, Pixel Monster Go. Pixel Monster Go feels like someone threw Pokemon Go in a blender with Minecraft. But aside from that, it's literally a shameless copycat app, except all of the assets are done in pixels. Pixelized square Pokeballs, anyone? The creatures themselves aren't too far off from the Nintendo trademarked pocket monsters that we all know and love either. The only addition is that it does boast a player versus player battle mode, although one that isn't overly sophisticated. And at number five, Monster Ball Go. Compared to the other games on this list that completely rip off Pokemon by making their titles some sort of riff on Pocket and Monsters, as if it'll help sales, Monster Ball Go actually makes a decent attempt to grab your attention. First off, they have all original creatures for you to catch. Second, there are multiple game modes that manage to diversify the typical Go ripoff game experience. That being said, while its ripped off ideas may stand out ever so slightly, its mechanics blow. It's filled with glitches, with many reports of it freezing and control stalling. Guess we don't all have those Niantic budgets, now do we? And at number four, Jurassic World Alive. Not all ripoffs are made with with half assed budgets. Take Jurassic World Alive, for example, the most recently announced game on this list that gives you the Pokemon Go experience, but with dinosaurs. And we all know adding dinosaurs to anything immediately makes everything better. Okay, maybe I'm a little biased. This app was commissioned by Universal and is being developed by Montreal studio Ludia, who have a history of developing Jurassic Park games. So far, it's been announced that the game will feature over 100 dinosaurs at its launch, but will regularly be updated with more creatures. What's even cooler is that the game will also allow players to battle against each other, a feature that was originally featured in Pokemon Go's trailers, but was never implemented. Battle dinosaurs! And at number 3, Draconis Go. Perhaps the most publicized ripoff, Draconis Go has stolen a lot of its mechanics from Pokemon Go, including the likes of candies, Pokestops, egg hatching, and of course, catching monsters that also feel like ripoff Pokemon. If that wasn't cringeworthy enough, it seems that publisher Ellie Land has no shame either. They've been recruiting popular Pokemon Go YouTubers to also play their game and create videos on it. The only one up it has over the original app is that it allows for players to battle each other, like some of the other apps that we mentioned on this list. But I don't think anyone still playing Pokemon Go would feel the need to ditch the app and jump on this one instead. So, in at number two, Pocket Catch Games. What's worse than a blatant ripoff? How about a poorly made one? Pocket Catch Games is exactly that. It's a shameless copycat that uses 2D images of animals. Also known as Pocket Pets Go, the game may use varying assets to mix up its aesthetic. But for the most part, you're throwing a dollar store Pokeball at sad real world images of animals that just kind of hop around on your screen. To be fair, it's so bad that it's actually pretty glorious. At least Worth watching gameplay videos of. And finally, in at number one, Hunt Monster Go. So, what's worse than a poorly made ripoff? One that butchers all the property of the original but turns it into a weird Frankenstein app so it's barely legal. Ah, yes, meet Hunt Monster Go, an app that takes your favorite Pokemon and mushes them together so they look like this Cyndaquil Meowth, Charmander Mudkip, a Poke 
Pokeball that looks like the Google Chrome logo? Isn't this the Pokemon game you've always wanted? If that doesn't sell you, let me read you the description of the game. And I quote, Hunt Monster Go are the best free games ever. Thrilling music and art made by professional. Hunting Monster is Fred. And this is the ultra hit in the App Store. I mean, it's Fred, guys. What, what else are you waiting for? All right, there we have it. Have you guys tried any of these games? Which one do you actually want to give a go? Let us know your thoughts and feels in those comments below. As always, if you dug this video, please show us some love by hitting those like and subscribe buttons. And don't forget to check out some of our other gaming videos on our channel, like the ones in our recently uploaded playlist currently flashing on your screen right now. Give it a click! In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody. I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Gaming. Catch you all in the next one.